Hi everybody, Greg Wilkins back here with you with another edition of The Daily Pause, a devotional of positivity and encouragement for Sunday, March 13th, 2022. As always, I pray that you not only have a very blessed day today, but that today's devotional will help encourage, inspire, motivate you, and put a smile on your face also. To leave your comments, your birthday or anniversary shout outs for your friends and loved ones, any audio or video performances that you would like to see featured as a part of the Daily Pause devotional, or maybe you miss an episode and you'd like to catch up on some past episodes of the Daily Pause. Well, you can do all that by checking out my YouTube channel, Greg Wilkins, or my Facebook page, The Daily Pause, or you could look for posts of The Daily Pause on my Twitter handle at Greg Wilkins 78. As always, the song of the day that is featured always comes towards the end of the devotional. So I hope that you stay tuned and listen to that. I made today's song and the devotional as a whole be a blessing to you on today. Right now, let's get started with today's devotional entitled, A Gentle Touch. No matter what we do, in the hustle and bustle of our day, if we get going and going and going, whether it's cold or hot outside, but particularly when it's hot outside or inside, whatever we're doing, when we find ourselves getting busy and moving, whether it be doing a lot of work or just doing a, an exercise workout or just running back and forth doing errands, just going and going and going and going and going, we find ourselves building up a sweat. And if we keep going, we'll build up a, such a big sweat that our clothes get soaked. And we just can't wait to get to a chance or we could stop what we're doing and just take our clothes off. But one thing we notice about our clothes when they're soaked in sweat, they're heavy. They're much heavier, well not much, but they're considerably heavier than they were when we first put them on. And it's just got an extra weight to them. And it's just mostly water, maybe some some salts and other things that, that come out of our body that's, that's perspired out of our bodies, but it's mostly water. Science is interesting that way. And God is very interesting that way. Oh, what do I mean? Well, with the phenomenon of dew, we all know about dew. We walk outside in the morning, especially in a spring morning or, or crisp fall after or afternoon, fall morning, and we like, it didn't rain. So why is the porch wet? Why is my car wet? Why is the grass covered with moisture? Well, dew is that phenomenon, that process in nature in which when it, as the temperature is cool, the objects outside, whether it be grass or trees or a car or the, the, the seats on our porch or whatever, they, they radiate the heat and the heat that radiates out of it kind of hovers above that object. And there's so much, there's so much uh, moisture that comes off of that from the radiational cooling, it's more than that can evaporate at one time. So it condenses and it falls gently back onto that object and it doesn't weigh it down. If you ever look at a blade of grass under a microscope with dew on it, you just see the you just see the droplets on there. It's not bending it over. It's not weighing it. It's not an extra weight. It's just there. But how can water do that to things in nature like grass? But our clothes are soaked in in sweat, and it just it makes it feel heavier. That's just God's reminder. He's using nature once again to remind us of His Spirit and how it gently falls on us every day. As we radiate whatever we have, our problems, our issues through our prayer, our worship, however we radiate off of us, it kind of bundles up in the atmosphere. It doesn't go away. It doesn't vaporize. It doesn't just, just go into nothing. So when we send our prayers and our requests and our praise and our worship and our singing and our dancing and our shouting, whatever we send up to the Lord, it comes back down through His Spirit, through His presence. There's a saying that says, and I said it earlier this week, when praises go up, blessings come down. And when they come down, they don't come down like thunderstorms and rain. That's another way our clothes get wet. It just comes down, just boom, doom, just comes down and it's forceful and the rain comes down, it's heavy and it makes our clothes wet. And then they're soaking wet, so it's even harder to get off. Sometimes we go through things and it's tough to get off because it's weighted down. But when God's presence falls on us, it's a gentle touch. It's a subtle touch, but it's such an important touch that it just rests upon us. Kind of like a baby when it goes to its mother or its father or its aunt and uncle, whoever, and they just, just gently lay their head on their shoulder or lay their head on their lap or just lay themselves on their body and just go to sleep. They don't go, 
and just lay a head gently on their shoulder or on their chest and they just go to sleep. That's how God's presence falls on us. It's not like a hurricane or a, th- a thunderstorm. It just gently falls on us. It just rests upon us. And that's what we should seek every day. So as we go through our daily hustle and bustle, while sometimes we'll get worked up and we get frustrated and we get moving back and forth, back and forth, and we work up that sweat, it weighs us down. It's just another reminder to not let the things that we go through our day to weigh us down. But when we give our issues to God, when we give him praise and worship instead of worry and doubt and frustration, what he gives us in return is his spirit, his presence, his love, his joy, which is our strength, his peace, which surpasses all understanding. And he just lays it upon us. It's a gentle touch, but it's a touch that makes such a profound effect on our lives. It gives us that release. That gentle touch releases every doubt, every worry, every fear, every concern that we have, just like when we take off those sweaty clothes. We're taking off that extra weight and we're putting it somewhere else. God takes that extra weight from us when he touches us with his gentle touch and it just lays upon us. And that brings us to today's feature song, which is a beautiful praise and worship song by uh, praise and worship leader, composer and arranger and gospel artist, Dr. Judith Christie McAllister one of her first biggest hits that was released in 2001, Like the Dew. And the song's a very simple song. It just, it says, but it mainly says, like the dew in the morning, may you rest upon my heart. Just the, just his presence just fall gently upon our hearts and his presence fall gently in our lives and just saturate his atmosphere with, with the atmosphere, with his love, his presence, his joy, his peace. And what, what we do, like like the plants and the and the, all the, the things that are outside due to radiational cooling, it's setting up its heat to cause the atmosphere to compile the, the water droplets to fall back down and do. What do we send up? We send up our praise. We send up our prayers. We send them up. We give them to God with thanksgiving. And he sends back down his presence because his presence is the fullness of joy. And it just sits upon our lives and it gives us that peace and it gives us that joy. And I encourage you on today, whatever you're going through, take off those sweaty clothes and send up your praise. Send up that evaporate that that, uh, that evaporation from our bodies and let it condense in the atmosphere around us and let it just fall back down with the presence of God, his love, his joy, his peace falling on us like the dew in the morning. May the Lord rest upon your heart on today. May today's devotional be an encouragement and a blessing to you to always ask and seek the presence of God and that gentle touch that falls on all of our lives. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for who you are. Lord, we ask you to just fall gently onto our lives. Whatever issues we have, whatever concerns we may have, whatever things that are causing us to walk around as if we are wearing sweaty clothes, Lord, let us take those sweaty clothes off. And while we may not understand why the water of our sweat weighs us down, but the water in nature doesn't weigh anything else down, we will never know. But Lord, we know that that is a, that's just another sign of how you rest on our lives. You don't come to give us heavy burdens and extra weight and extra worry and extra doubt. You come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Your word says that we cast our cares upon you because you care for us. So whatever you give us, it's not going to be a weight on us. Whatever you give us will only be a blessing. And Lord, we receive it and we thank you for your ever gentle touch on our lives like the dew in the morning. May we rest upon our hearts. May you saturate our atmosphere with your love and your presence, ever changing our lives for the better. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, this is the part of the devotional in which we give out our birthday and anniversary shout outs. And we have a couple of birthdays on today. Happy birthday to my dear cousin, Julius Burgess. And happy birthday to an extremely talented and phenomenal young man. Happy birthday to Shelton Stevenson. I hope you both have a very blessed birthday. May God bless you with many more. 
and a very special church anniversary to Pastor and First Lady Charles and Janet Brennan, who will be celebrating their church anniversary on today. May God continue to bless you and increase you in all that you do and your part in the vineyard for the ministry. And may he continue to enhance you and increase you in your health and in your strength and in your lives. Continue to give the good news to everyone who is willing to listen. Now that's going to do it for today's edition of the Daily Pause for today. Just a quick reminder real quick that there are still three brackets in the got in the Daily Pause inspirational music uh, tournament that are open. The choir bracket, which will close real soon, the solo artist bracket and the quartet bracket. You can send those nominations to me by leaving a comment below on the Daily Pause Facebook page or on my YouTube channel, Greg Wilkins. You can send me a tweet at Greg Wilkins 78. You can send me an email at glwilkins78 at outlook.com or you can contact me on Facebook Messenger or you can text me at 864-706-5916. You can nominate as many artists as you want. You can nominate them as many times as you want because that will determine the seating in their bracket. I hope you participate. It's really going to be fun. I hope you enjoy it. Now, continue to love each other. Continue to be safe. And remember, Every day, there's always time to take a pause. And Lord willing, I will see you again on tomorrow. Enjoy today's feature song, Like the Do, written and composed by Dr. Judith Christine McAllister off her debut album, Send Judah First, released in 2001 from Judah Music. I hope you're encouraged. I hope you're blessed out there. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you also enjoy today's music in the background of this week. It's the instrumental version of the song He Reigns by Vincent Bohannon and the Sound of Victory Fellowship Choir. It's really upbeat. It's really peppy. I hope you enjoy that background music in this week's set of devotionals. Once again, may God be a blessing to you. May you all be safe. May you all be encouraged. And I hope you didn't lose too much sleep by springing forward that extra hour on today. May God be with you on today as today's feature song starts right now. Take care and God bless. How many of you want a fresh touch from God? And we're gonna ask him tonight, like the dew in the morning, gently rest upon my heart. Come on, just touch yourself, say, Lord, gently rest upon me tonight like the dew in the morning and if we really mean it come on and just lift your hands and say thank you
what they're going through. But I want you to look at them and say, like the dew in the morning, may he rest upon your heart. May he saturate you with his glory. Come on, look at them and say, may he saturate you with his glory. Come on, we're going to sing to our neighbor tonight. Come on, let's sing it this way.